Good morning from Inverness, Scotland. Uh, we're sitting, as you can probably see, at a bus stop right now. We are headed about 45 minutes north uh, to a place called Rosemarkey uh, to hike the Fairy Glen paths. Uh, this is our second day in Scotland. Uh, first full day though, really. Um, we got in yesterday around noon and we took it super easy. It is pretty early now since we're jet lagged, but um, that's okay. All the, all the sooner to start the day, right? Here we are in the lovely village of Rosemarkey. On the bus, there was an older woman who was talking to the driver, telling them she needed to get off at this certain street because her bloody cat had gone missing. <laughs> she was like on this quest to find him. She must have been talking with everyone at her stop too, because when they all got off at different places, they were like, I hope you find your cat. It was cute. Wow, that's so cute. And it says, Established, is that 1601? 1601. I wonder if we'll have time to hit this up later. Ah, look at the little seat with the wheels. <laughs> Cute. Here we go. Uh, I think this path is like 1.6 miles. Um, I think that's round trip. We'll see. It's already so lush here. When we left home, it was like brown, not a single leaf on the trees. It was very jarring. Everything's in bloom here though, it's very pretty. We're here, this is where we started, and this is where the waterfalls are. That just reminds me of that meme where it said, Oh yeah. Ornithologists are really out here naming birds things like the long-tailed tit, and no one's doing anything about it. Whoa, look at this huge spider! Yeah. Oh! We got... What do you call it? What do you call it? Well, Oh no, these curl. Oh, those. I think fern? they're fiddlehead ferns, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Fiddlehead ferns. I think, anyway. Fiddle shaped head. Like the top of Ooh, we've reached the falls. I took my coat off. It's starting to get a bit warm. Uh, so I don't think I've said yet, this is called Fairy Glen, and it is a place where they thought fairies lived. Back in the day, they used to decorate the water with flowers, and it was in hopes that the fairies would keep the water clean. Um, I think it's part of the well-dressing tradition, uh, which is, yeah, in, in the month of May, I think usually, in the UK, people will decorate uh, holy wells, or places where they thought water was um, important. <laughs> and just like that, he was gone. Out of our lives forever. Alright, so we're headed up here next. Uh, there's a second set of falls as well. We were just saying we haven't seen this original coin tree yet, but you know, maybe it's a warning sign here because it's actually up ahead and they don't want, <laughs> they're getting ahead of the game. Oh, okay, so here's that tree where people have been sticking coins in the slots. Yeah, it's not good for the tree, but it does look kind of cool. Wow, there's some really old ones in here that you can tell the tree is just completely 
gobbled up. Oh, look. So there's a rock out there with flowers on it. So maybe the tradition continues. All right, we're just headed back into town now. That was the end of the trail. I don't know if you could hear me by the waterfalls, but yeah, people had left flowers. Uh, two different people, because there was uh, white roses, and then there was some like purple, yellow, white flowers uh, in a rock in the middle too. And it does make sense because I think well dressings usually take place in the month of May, and this is very early May, so how oh, cool. I really like that people still do that. This is cute. I'm using the uh, public restroom, and on the back of the doors here, they have photos of like other outhouses in like remote parts of the world. So this one says Mount Kilimanjaro in Tanzania. It says tourist toilet. And then over here, here's one in Nepal. Oh, this is nice. It says someone lost their handbag. And someone hand it back in. Oh, that's so nice. This bathroom definitely looks better than this snow covered one in Nepal, I have to say. But I do love that as like a, here's yet another far flung outhouse in different parts of the world. We come down to the beach now. It's a really nice day. We're gonna grab lunch, but maybe there'll be time for us to go down to the water. Sausage rolls, mine's a vegetarian sausage. Chris got haggis. Just headed back up to the bus stop now. Uh, we have one more stop that we want to go to. Uh, we're headed to a Kuti well. I'm just looking to see if that place ever opened up. Fortunately, it did not. But oh well, because we don't have time for beer now anyway after after finishing lunch. So. We made it to Munlaki. Uh, this is about halfway between where we were and where we're staying for the night in Burness. Um, and we're headed here for a Kluti well. Uh, it's a pagan tradition that essentially, if you are ill, uh, you would go to this um, like holy well or spring and you would hang up a piece of cloth there. And the idea is as that cloth deteriorates, uh, so too will your illness. That's the belief. Yeah, we're not even at the entrance yet, but there's already lots of cloths tied up out here. So maybe you can already tell just from walking in there, but yeah, it is actually kind of turning into a debate now because um, Clothes are really made of synthetic fibers now, and they don't degrade when left out to the elements. So a lot of people just view this as like littering. Um, so yeah, it's kind of become a debate. Like there was um, one of these other wells, someone came through and took down all the offerings and uh, all the ties. And yeah, some people were really mad about that, and other people were like, you know, it's it was an eyesore. So yeah, um, if you are coming out here, to leave clothes, you're supposed to leave something that will degrade. I mean, that's the point of it, right? I mean, if I had a chronic illness and I was coming out here, I would be leaving the most raggedy, like already half decomposed piece of uh, fabric because, you know, the point is for it to degrade. So just keep that in mind. Yeah, so here, here we are. And then we're gonna take this little path through the woods. Uh, you can read it if you would like to pause the video. And I see there's also a note. The point is for it to rot away. So leave something that will. But here's the spring. 
coming out right there. There's tons of them everywhere. Fortunately, the road passes right by, so it's gonna be a lot of car sounds. I will say, people who've let masks here, I mean, that does feel a lot more like litter, because that is kind of a, a common litter you see just around nowadays. But it seems like maybe the belief has evolved a little. People don't just come here for that when you're sick, because, sorry, there's a lot of cars coming through right by the road, as you can see, but uh, someone seems to have left their like marriage I don't know what that is, a pillowcase or something, celebrating their marriage, so. I guess people just kind of make of it what they will. Um, they just see it as maybe a sacred site, and so they're leaving something here, like a memento. I don't know, I'm a foreigner, what do I know? But yeah, I, I guess I can kind of see both sides of it. Chris just made a hilarious suggestion. Perhaps their marriage will degrade as this cloth degrades at the well. Something to think about. I'm curious if the uh, people who left masks are trying to recover from COVID. That's the end of the sightseeing we're doing today. We're just headed back to Inverness now. We're gonna catch the bus. And yeah, I don't think I'll end the video quite yet though because uh, some people might be interested in seeing what the hotel room looks like. So I will give you a little tour when we get back. I had to come over here because I noticed that this telephone booth had been turned into a free little library. What have they got? No way! Hocus Pocus? Who would give that up? Check it out. VHS. What of? Oh, Maisie. Oh, there's even some vinyl in here. Neil Diamond? Water warped. Let's boogie. Whoa. When did this come out? I don't remember when that movie was. Whoa, it's signed? Wait, by who? Uh, wait, never mind. <laughs> Check out these super rad stone wolves, dogs, in front of the church here. Super little googly eyes in there. Here is our hotel, uh, just right next to the riverside. It is kind of weird getting into the rooms though because we go all the way down here and you actually go in through this restaurant and up these back stairs. It almost feels like we have an apartment, an apartment above this restaurant. And then we're all the way down at the end of this hall here. Okay, it's actually a couple hours later. What happened was when we were walking through the hallway just now, well, from the footage you just saw, uh, one of the cleaning girls was out in the hall and she asked if we wanted uh, the room clean. And so I was like, oh, sure. Uh, and then I'll be able to show you the room afterwards and it's all nice. All right, it's gonna be a short tour. So as you can see, it's just two rooms here. This is the bed, towels. Oh, that's my umbrella for tomorrow. Um, and we have a view, though since it's nighttime, I don't know if you're gonna see much, but it's a little, courtyard out there where you can watch everyone take their smoke breaks um, from the restaurant that we're over. But it is a cute little courtyard scene. And then we have a pot for tea uh, or what they left actually is Cadbury instant hot chocolate and little walker shortbread rounds. Isn't that cute? Definitely gonna make that before we leave. And then this is the bathroom. It's 
pretty small. I have to actually shut the door to show you everything. So sink, obviously. There's a hot tap and a cold tap. I assume when you wash your hands, you're supposed to like fill the basin and you know make it lukewarm, but I don't have time for that. So I turn them both on and <laughs> run them, my hands back and forth between the hot and cold water. <laughs> Nobody got time to fill the basin. Uh, there's soap. I don't know, does anyone recognize these brands? I assume they're just generic stuff. Um, that's mine, that's Lush. And then toilet, normal, and shower. Pretty, uh, pretty basic stuff. That's really all we need. You know, we're not staying a ton of time in the room, going out and seeing the, seeing the town. And uh, yeah, so that done, uh, this is gonna be the end of this video. So I hope you enjoyed uh, coming along with us today. I really had a lot of fun out at those hikes. I don't know if you should travel too far for it, but if you're in the area and you have extra time, go check it out. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.